Well, I don't know what I'm going to find today. I'm uh, going in to check a hive. I just moved over here from a friend's house. They didn't really have time to take care of it. So I'm uh, going to see what's happening in it. I don't know if I'm going to need to feed them. There's not a lot of nectar or pollen right now. So prepared for that. Just going to see what's happening. Even though this suit is a ventilated suit, it still gets hot. And I got my long pants on. I used to wear shorts, but I stopped doing that. Oh yeah, okay, all right. What I'm here today is make sure they've got resources because there's no pollen or nectar right now right. to speak of. So making sure they've got everything they need to survive and make more brood. See what condition they're in. I see sometimes in the evenings where there's uh, where it's really, really hot. Yeah. The whole thing will be encased with bees out front. Is that that's, how they cool there? That's called bearding, yes. The uh, colony knows it's too hot, so a bunch of them go on the outside of it so they can keep it cool inside. Right, cool, relatively speaking, right. 94 degrees. If it gets hotter than that, they want them, they go beard on the front. All right. This is the new one here. First thing I do is smoke the front of it a little bit, let them know I'm here. Look at those, look at all these. See all those hive beetles? Let me get those over here and knock them off. That's what, uh, this guy didn't take care of the hive. And uh, these hive beetles, they want to fly off now. Hopefully I'll squash as many as I can. Bees run them up. They run, the bees run them up to the top to keep them out of the hive. All right. I got these sh uh, Swiffer sheets in here. Do you want to get you? As you can see here. Let me. I have these Swiffer sheets on here, which are hive beetle traps. It catches the hive beetles' legs in them, and, and uh, they die. You can see a bunch of them already on top of this thing here. These hive beetles have gotten caught up in them, and they're dying. These are hive beetle traps here. They have oil in them. See all the hive beetles in it? You see them all in the oil? I hate those things. Hate them. Here's the other trap, it doesn't have quite as many in it. Okay, all right, okay. It does have a few bees on it, but they can get off easier than the High beetles can. I'll be back. You don't ever want to put this in there where the queen can get to it or it'll kill her too. But you can see the high beetles and a couple of bees. But a sacrifice for the hive. 
and I really don't see any high beetles in here to speak of. You see it's fairly uh, heavy uh, amount of bees on these frames right here up in the honey super. I have a uh, queen excluder right here so she can't get up out of these two boxes right here. These two boxes are for the bees period. That's their stock period. Ouch one got in there and tried to get me. All right one two three four five six seven. Let's see how they're doing on putting honey away or, or nectar. They might actually have some in here. All right, ladies. Let's get down. Let's go down, 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 down. Let's see what we've got going here. All right. I see a lot of hive beetles down in here. Some up here. Okay, they've got a lot of, uh, they do have a bunch of nectar in these. Things are fairly full of nectar down inside there. I don't know if we, what your lighting will do. You can see the hive beetles running around here. See the bee run over and get it. A lot of nectar in that one too. Okay. Let's see what we got in this next one here. Not as many high beetles in this one as there were in that one over there. That's good, but it's full of nectar. Once again, full of nectar down in there. Both sides are full, but it's not capped, so it's not ready. It wouldn't be ready to harvest. All right, okay. I don't really see much capped in here. I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to take any more out right now. I'm just going to leave that like that. Take a look in this bottom box. Whoa, that's heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Well, we got a few. Like I said, they get a little agitated I'm going to take a quick look in here to see if I see any eggs or young larvae some nectar Mainly just stores, no brood. Put 
this in here, put this in here. Easy. I see a lot of high beetles here. A lot of high beetles here. That's what happens when the guy didn't take care of them. Okay, ladies, let me get over here. Excuse me. All right, let's see what this is here. up out of there. Ooh. Lots of honey. At least I got some brood. I don't know if you can see it in the middle there, the dark colored stuff. You don't have to get real close, but there is brood in here, which is a good sign. The queen is in here. And I see milk brood, meaning that she has laid lately. So I'm not going to do anything else except put this hive back together. It's called Apivar Strips. All right. Not quite finished yet. I may be bringing a few bees with me, so I want to put a couple of more uh, beetle traps in the top of that. I look like the Peanuts character. I take this. Put some oil in it. Put some oil in it. And that's it for the day. I'm only going to do one today. <laughs>